let's continue on then to the mud flats and see how it looks here. Ah, not that impressive. It's a little bit of a slow attack, I guess. So is my normal melee attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More die dripping dead. Dripping dead even. Ah. They resist cold. Of course they do. So my ability is useless there. <laughs> These guys also resist cold. Why does everybody resist cold here? My mana is gone. Right now I need extra mana. Let's see though. He shattered, I think. I don't know. Hard to tell. Annoying these guys are. Like Yodo, I speaking am. I, I don't know. Yeah, they, they stun me a little bit and take me out of my combat animation. Oh, they can miss too. Huh. Cool. Don't want that. <laughs> I can dodge their attacks like that. That's cool. Nice. Look at that. I love this crown slam ability. It's pretty cool. And I can level up my glacial hammer. So 50%, 15 and 35. Mm, 16 instead of 15. Alright. More chance to freeze enemies on it. I guess that's useful. They level up really slowly. <laughs> but I guess it's in percentages, so... To live in uh. That's really the only way they could level up, really. And I gotta level up, but I wanna get rid of these guys, because I don't want them hitting me while I'm... using my level up. Come on, more guys. I see you out of the corner of my screen right there. Let's move back a little. I'm hearing something. There it is. And you missed. Alright. I'm hearing... Alright, I, I get so paranoid about this, but I hate that it doesn't pause. But I guess, you know, everything is in multiplayer, so... Alright, I don't want to go there. Um, I wanted to go over here. And over here. Found a glyph in the mud flats, alright. Find a use for the strange glyph. Heliotos, Heliotis glyph, alright. And I found a new gem which is a blue gem a new gem which is a blue gem and lightning all right two additional targets that's pretty cool this is basically chain lightning and even though i'm not a wizard or anything i can use that gem no problem it doesn't really seem to do much though but there's the option, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I can totally, even though I chose this guy's total strength character, I can still get intellect if I just go far enough down the uh, passive skills. Uh, I, I just, the thing is though, um, I don't think you actually get blue gems for quest rewards, so. My mana is gone. And you have to, of course, start with the strength path anyway, so I don't think it makes too much sense to make a Marauder and then go toward the intellect line, when you can just start with a Templar instead. I guess this shall be a fully strength character. But it's interesting, I mean, they, they do give you that option, since the whole skill uh, thing, the whole skill page, I guess I'll call it. 
is um, just one thing for everybody, but you start on a different spot. So it's interesting to think about, I guess. I want that. We oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I did. He didn't like me taking his egg. Is this cool? Okay, so let's not use my new ability. Hits accuracy, accurately evades attacks, charges at enemies. Alright, well, no problem. <laughs> I took him out easy. Easy peasy. Let's pick up some of this stuff. I don't think I want to be using those due to the sockets required. Um, I don't really have much use for green or blue sockets. Even though I do use this gem right now, but just just because I happen to have room for it. Um, I won't be using the skill much though. So yeah, um, this does give me more armor. So... What I can of course do is... Oh, I need to identify it for... Well, I will guess I'll identify it then. Alright, not bad. It does have only green sockets, but still an improvement. So... I thought I'd, you know, just equip it without identifying it, because I'm sure I'll find something better quite soon. But unfortunately, I need to identify it before I can actually equip it. Whoa, what's going on here? That is awesome. Well, the way they're racing out of the ground does make it easy to hit them all. With my ground slam. Look at that. Just lining them up. Easy peasy. No problem. Cool stuff. Huh. Take it. I have to avoid these guys hitting me when when it comes to charging because it's annoying how it takes me out of my uh, how it stuns me. So and it's good practice, you know. They may not be super dangerous or anything, but where are you going, dude? I'm over here. You're totally confused there. Hi. No, well, that was some great dodging there, Nemo. Well done. Hey. It dropped a Quicksilver Flask. Well, I feel robbed. I feel totally robbed. So you can just find these things then? Huh. Oh well. Still cool. I thought it was like a super special item. That only you can, that you can only get from that quest. But nope. Just a regular old item. Anybody can use it. Easy to get. Oh well. Still useful. Alright, looks like I found something new here. Found the glyphs in the Roa nest. Breaking some eggs. I can't go in here unless I lower the water, and I can lower the water by using the glyph wall. And for the wall glyph wall, I need three of these, three of these things and these. So I need to find one more of those. Awesome. What is this thing actually? Is that a giant or like an elf or something? I don't know. Why is it so yellow? Maybe it's an orc. Alright, so I, I need to be up here, I guess. That's where the other one is gonna be. Let's use my Quicksilver Flask to walk a little bit faster since I don't see anything walking around here. And another gem ready to level up. Facial Hammer. Cool. I haven't really used it, but still ready to level up anyway. What? I, did I pick up whatever it... Yeah, I did. Get rid of that crap. This is the where I need to be, alright. Ah, oh, I totally missed with that. My mana is gone. Yeah, the um, reactiveness, let's call it that, of this game is a little bit to get used to. It takes a little bit. 
but it's not terrible or anything and it'll be easier once I have faster attack speed. Don't want that. Alright. Let us continue on to the glyph wall. Yep, I am aware that that's what I need to do. Um, and I'm sure there's nothing really interesting in the rest of this area. Oh, I actually saw er all of it, so that's cool. I actually discovered the whole map while doing this. Let's move on over to where I was just at. And I can use this quick silver flask. Speed it along a little bit. And I can get a reward as well. I'll speak to him whenever I found a waypoint. So this is pretty much like the underground passage, I guess, in Diablo 2. <laughs> you gotta walk through this part. And it's pretty claustrophobic, really. But I think this, this place is pretty awesome. These guys die easily. They're nothing special, really. But of course, like anything, they resist cold. But this thing doesn't. Oh! So... Did you... That thing has a shield? And when you crack... When it has the shield on it, it resists fire. But when you crack the shield, it then becomes another mob. That is basically the same critical but without the shield, but then it only resists lightning, so it's kind of strange. I just noticed that. Uh, what's over here? It's barrels. Somebody put barrels over here and put nothing in it. That's a waste of barrels, I tell you. Why does anybody put barrels in a cave like this? Why, did, why would anyone put a chest here? Uh, why am I making sense out of things that shouldn't make sense anyway? Or trying to, I guess. But yeah, now it resists lightning. That's really weird how that works. But at least those guys don't resist cold. They resist everything else, but not cold. There's the waypoint. Alright, let's go get my reward then. And did I see that correctly? There's a way to go over there. Where I haven't been? Huh. I'll have to figure that one out. Yeah, there's there's a different way I haven't been. Mm -hmm. Sell some of this crap. Keep that. Um, I'll keep that as well. Except. There. Let's see what rewards so we you can get. So you open the tidal passage and live to tell the tale. Forgive me if I don't seem over the moon about. Getting a reward and the next quest. Full shield charge. Don't need that. Stack and mist. Yada yada yada. Yeah, I need a shield for it. It doesn't really say. It's weird, but I'm pretty sure I need a shield for it. Infernal blow. Fire attack, AOE, melee. It's the enemy converting some of your physical damage to fire damage. If the enemies die soon after being hit, they will explode, dealing fire damage to nearby enemies. Requires a sword, axe, mace, staff, or unarmed. Alright, awesome. 50% of physical damage converted to fire damage. So that's... Um, I got a heavy strike right now, which is... Uh, doesn't really add much damage, 150%, yeah. This is only converted to fire damage. Base duration of the fire, I guess, and then... Alright. Interesting. It has less damage effectiveness than this heavy strike, but... Hmm. Maybe useful. 
decoy totem summons a totem that taunts nearby monsters to attack it. Uh huh. Doesn't seem too useful. Sweet. Yeah. Alright, another AoE ability. Glacial Hammer I already used. Alright, so I can get Sweep. That's two-handed X or Mace. Which I can't use right now. Huh. Um, so I guess we'll get Infernal Blow then. Alright, and we got a new quest from the dude. And I got room for this thing right here. Awesome. And let's see if we can get some rings and an amulet and I need a belt still see so apparently this thing knows what's in my stash so if I buy this will it take the orb of transmutation out of my stash that's interesting that's pretty cool huh I wanna get this flask I got it and now there's six awesome alright that's really useful that's really cool so I can just replace that Quicksilver Flask then. Oh, it is just a small life flask, but oh well, it's better than not having any flask there. Alright, cool. I can still use it for speed. Um, actually let's do this just so I can find it easier because <laughs> they all look the same and I want a amulet as well but yeah why not I'll get it you only live once in hardcore right so I, I'm decked out in armor now and stuff Ah, this is the fetid. Okay, that's the place I need to be then. Alright, well. Let's see how long this session has been for now. Alright, it's been about 46 minutes. So I'm sure that'll be a good... Uh, I, can, I can fit that into two videos. That'll be a good time for me to uh, stop for now. And we'll have our next quest. And we have the waypoint to the submerged passage. One floor down with that. So, awesome. Coolio. Coolio. I'll see you guys next time. My name is, by the way, my name has been Nemo. My name will still be Nemo next time. Almost forgot it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day.